So HPV vaccine should be prioritized through health systems um, because it's one of the best ways that we have to prevent a large number of cancers. Now, unlike many other vaccines, HPV is not required for school entry, like many of our childhood vaccines or even some adolescent vaccines. However, even though it's not required, it's important that everyone should get the vaccine because it is our best defense against um, over 30,000 cases of cancer every year. It's important for parents to know that the HPV vaccine um, has been extensively tested, um, both before it was approved for use in the U.S. and, and we continue to monitor it. And there, there tends to be a perception around this vaccine that it's a new vaccine or that it's something different. But the vaccine has actually been licensed and recommended for use in the U.S. since 2006. Um, it's as old as the meningitis vaccine that we routinely give to our adolescents. Um, it's nearly as old as the Tdap vaccine that we routinely give to our adolescents. Um, in fact, it's older than many of the technologies that we use every day, like the iPhone or the Kindle, um, you know, which you know, did not come about until later in the 2000s. So this isn't necessarily a new vaccine, um, but it is a way that we have to um, offer an additional level of protection to our young people um, against a, a large number of cancers. Um, and the extensive level of safety and effectiveness testing that has been done on this vaccine should be reassuring to parents um, when they're making the decision to have their child vaccinated.